Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So it's uh, getting on towards the end of May, um, raining today, kind of cool. Um, it's been a real unusual spring uh, for weather. But um, topic of today's video, um, kind of a tough thing for us to talk about, but it, it's something that we really need to address. A couple of nights ago, we had a coyote hit and uh, we had a coyote get in with our flock of sheep and we lost three of our baby lambs. And when I say lost, I mean, they're just gone. Um, no sign of, uh, you know, a dead lamb or anything. Uh, they were just gone, but it did have another lamb that was injured pretty badly. Looked like it had, had a bite mark on its head. Um, had some swelling around the jaw, real bloody. Um, so the only thing we can figure is that it was a coyote. Talked to a friend of ours uh, just out the road here who's uh, also a sheep farmer. He recommended a guy come out um, and do a little bit of hunting. So we had him come out. He did uh, shoot one that later that night. Um, but you know, where there's one, there's, there's always more. So um, something we've been talking about for a while now uh, and just hadn't pulled the trigger on was getting a livestock guardian dog. And I've always had a little, I've had a little bit of a mental block on that because, you know, I've never had a dog that was a working animal. It's always been a pet. Um, so we made the decision that we were going to get a livestock guardian dog. So we went out and we hunted. Um, we done some research, uh, looked a couple different places and we found the biggest, baddest, meanest, ugliest coyote killer uh, that we could find and I think it's uh, if there are any coyotes in this area they better look out because this thing is gonna it's gonna just absolutely tear them I mean I'm I'm a little scared of it myself um, and you know we're gonna have to figure out how to get over that but uh, I don't know so this is Angel don't don't bite me now don't 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 bite growling so this is Angel <laughs> she's our guardian angel um, <clears throat> I'll edit this part out. <laughs> so she's going to go in with uh, she's going to go in with the sheep, but she's uh, she's kind of learning her place right now. She's five week old Great Pyrenees. Uh, she's a chunky little thing. Um, and we're trying to get her acclimated. She's down here in the barn with the sheep. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna turn this stall into her stall. Um, we're gonna fix it so that she's got a nice big open area that she, we can put her in at night um, till we get her kind of secured and get her um, acclimated to the, sp to the space and uh, figure out how that all is gonna work and start the training process. So hang around with us. We're gonna do a little bit of conversion on a, on a barn stall and make it into a killer pen. Okay, so the plan is we're going to take this stall um, and we're going to convert it into a um, puppy pen uh, for Angel. <clears throat> and this is a stall where in the past we've we've had we've had calves in here and we've kept hay in here and the sheep have been in and out of here a bunch. So we're going to try to secure this. So the thing that we're going to do is back here along the back wall, I think we're going to put up some plywood just to kind of close that area in keep her from getting out and keep anything else from, from getting in. <clears throat> then along this back wall over here, we're gonna do some chicken wire. <clears throat> On this side here, we're gonna do some chicken wire. And then we're gonna do chicken wire on this side here as well. <clears throat> and then we'll put a door. The reason we're going with chicken wire is we want her to be able to see the sheep. We want the sheep to be able to see her. Um, and she'll primarily be, we're going to, you know, she'll be in here at night. That's just, you know, to keep her on sight from wandering off. During the day, uh, she'll be out with the sheep some, um, and that'll, you know, that amount of time will, will increase as she gets older. Um, but we want her to be able to still see and interact with the sheep even at night <clears throat> until we, uh, until we get all the training stuff done. So I'm um, gonna have to build a door. We'll build a little door to go up here. Uh, it extends all the way down the ground. So we've got a gravity feeder that we picked up for this morning and we'll uh, put that in here, um, train her on that. We'll make sure she's got some water. 
plenty of hay. I think it'll be a comfortable spot for her. So uh, her own little own little escape area. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see it some. But we've got the chicken wire up all the way around on the inside, so we're good and secure for a five pound puppy. Um, would not put, wouldn't put an adult dog in here, or wouldn't put a, sure wouldn't put a sheep in here and expect it to keep it. But, um, you know, I think we're okay for the uh, securing of the uh, walls. Got the light in, so we've got a light, so we can turn the light on and off for, and uh, we've got a three-prong outlet right there. Light in one, fence energizer going in the other one. Um, I know you're not really supposed to use an extension cord on an uh, electric fence, but we do what we gotta do. So, next challenge is, need to work on a door. So we had a door here at one time, did have a calf in here and the calf decided it didn't want the door there so it politely removed the door so we're going to fix that door back and uh, we'll be pretty close to ready here Okay, so we've got Angel's uh, stall set up. We got our chicken wire around the uh, bottom here. Got our kennel in here. We've got a water bowl. Got our gravity feeder propped open right now till she figures out what's in that. There's something good for her in there. And we got our piece of plywood on the back wall. I had a couple of holes there. The other area, I'm not 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 concerned about and then we've got our chicken wire on the front and we got the door so we're gonna have to figure out a latch for the door uh, but that's no big deal so i think we're in pretty good shape here um angels in her new spot getting it all figured out well here she is in her killer cage I'm gonna train her to be a coyote killing machine. Um, she doesn't look very vicious right now, but we'll get her there. Found a uh, old latch that we had on the building. Just repurposed that. Works good for works good for a stall door. So, but anyway, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna post a couple of uh, links over here on some other videos that we got going on in that. Uh, subscribe button is going to pop up in the center of the screen if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe channel the subscribe 
follow along with us. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to do some more videos. So uh, I think that'll do it for today. But appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.